Today we continue to walk in these joyful days of after the resurrection of Christ and now his ascension into heaven, the fulfillment and promises that he will always be with us and will send us, send us the advocate, the Holy Spirit, which he has. Today I think it's one of those days that when we look at the scriptures, we kind of have to flip flop our thinking because in this first reading, it talks about Paul and the Acts of the Apostles. Luke tells us about all the activities, the evangelization, and how they went on even to the foreign lands and, and proclaimed the word of God. But here he, meet, he meets disciples on the way today, and he says to them, how were you baptized? And they said, in the baptism of John for forgiveness of sin. And then he goes on to say, you need to be baptized in Jesus Christ and in the Holy Spirit. And we know that he prays for them. But that's after the resurrection of Jesus. That's after Pentecost. They go out and they do all this evangelization. They're empowered by the Spirit. But then our gospel account today is pre-crucifixion. Pre Jesus is talking to his disciples. He talks to them and tells them that, that there is difficulty in life and that they will all be dispersed and they will go to their homes. He's foretelling or prophesying what will happen when he is arrested in the garden that night in Gethsemane when he prays to the Father and he knows that the Father is with him. He says, I am not alone. I am always, the Father is always with me. And he reminds us that he is always with us. But he tells them this situation and then they, this happens and they scatter. But then after his glorious resurrection, he appears to them and he comes to them and he doesn't say what happened to you or he doesn't criticize them or fault them. The first thing he does is shows them love and says, peace be with you. The peace that he talks about today in this gospel account, the peace that he told them before the event and the, the peace that he tells them when he speaks to them and shows them his wounds and says those words of comfort to them after the resurrection. This reminds us today that God is always with us and always faithful to us and that we are reminded that we live in that spirit of post-resurrection. We live in the age of the spirit. The spirit that was poured out onto the church centuries, thousands of years ago, is that same Holy Spirit, the grace of God that is there each and every time we turn to God in prayer. When we feel confident or when we feel fearful, come Holy Spirit. Anyone in any age or any place or any time can say, come Holy Spirit, that perfect prayer. When we feel anxious or afraid, we say, come Holy Spirit. And God gives us the grace, the wisdom, the strength that we need to do whatever we need to do. And so today as we pray and we are empowered by his word and strengthened in the sacrament of the Eucharist, the spirit is there for us and the spirit is there in our prayers today. And so we ask God today, we, we pray in thanksgiving to Christ that he has called us to be his faithful followers. And we ask him as he, he told the disciples today, I have conquered the world, fear not, and I am with you always till the end of time.